Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today we're going to be looking at the East Hill Outdoors Felneck Sun Shelter. The Sun Shelter is sized for two to four people and it's going to be plenty for a family for a day at the beach. It's also going to work great for an all day fishing excursion. So I've not had this set up yet and if you look at the size of this, this is about the size of a bag chair. So it's not too large. This is something I would be able to take in a canoe as well if I did not have shade. I prefer to fly a tarp if I'm looking for shade, but when you're in a beach setting like this, you're kind of out of options. So let's pop it open and see what we have. So this is how the main shelter comes out and I still have some items left in the bag. So I've got a single plastic buckle, keep all this together. and this buckle is not attached. So this is something you're gonna have to save. I'm gonna put this on our carrying case. So in the bag here, I have line as well as high visibility stakes. So once I had it popped up and I had the side staked out, there's still these clips at the back. And all that does is just give you full, full room inside. I'll take you inside and I'll show you how it looks. So this sets up easy and it gives you some shade, but this is actually a sun protection rating of 50. So when you're tucked back in here, you're safe from burning. And the area I'm sitting on now, there has a little porch area and that lets you sit in the sun when you choose to get a little bit of rays and then you can retreat into the shade when needed. So there's three windows and you can roll them up and keep your view of the beach or you can roll them down if you've got neighbors on each side and want a little bit of privacy. It's kind of darker in here also so it's going to work great for a nap on the beach but you're not going to be risking burning yourself. This is plenty wide enough I'm over six foot tall and I can lay in this with zero problems whatsoever. So to keep your stuff up off the ground, there's net pockets. There's two pockets on each side. So if stakes aren't working for you, there are these side pockets here. And these are designed to be filled with sand to weight this entire structure down in the wind. So probably my favorite part about this sun shelter is the fact that the, the mat I was sitting on when I was in the sun completely folds up and becomes a door. So now you have half a tent. So if I was beach camping, if I was on another kayak trip or a canoe trip, this would work great 99% of the time like it is. With the door open, I'd have a view of the ocean or a view of the lake. And when things get bad, if the weather changed or if it started to get chilly or I just chose to use more privacy, I could zip these doors up, lower the windows down, and I'm sitting on a tent. So I'm really kind of excited about this sun shelter. It's early, early in the season. It's still in the 50s here right now, but the sun's starting to come out and you can tell warm weather is around the corner. This will be nice to have up for a family beach trip. This would be great for fishing alongside the lake. There's a lot of possibilities with this and it kind of fits a niche that you can't really cover just by flying a tarp. 